Wow, let me tell you something. You know, you know, let me tell you something. Sometimes Dragon Dave can get speechless from time to time. And this is one of those times right now. Look at this. Look at this. Enjoy it, folks. Enjoy the silence while it lasts because it won't last long. I was speaking. No, you weren't. You said you were speechless. How could you be speaking if you said you were speechless? Well, I, well, I'm speaking right now. Look at this beautiful creature right here. Let me tell you something. Natty, Natty Neidhart, daughter of the great Jim the Anvil Neidhart. My, my father-in-law, my dad. Your father-in-law. What, twice removed? My future father-in-law. Natty Neidhart awaiting one of my favorites, Ivory, Canadian Supergirls champion, coming out here with the belt. Ivory, really a house of fire. She's a lovely lady. It's great to see her again. The Canadian what champion? The Can it says right there in front of you, Dragon Dave. I see your notes. Canadian Supergirls champion. Canadian Supergirls champion. Does that mean, I mean can she fly? She can fly. Well... Dragon Dave, it's not a question, I think, of flying. It's more a question of um, intrinsic superpowers. Is she faster than a speeding bullet? Faster than a speeding bullet. That's not what that's about. Is she more powerful than a locomotive? Alan Bolte, with the with the introductions, I think we're going to hear from Natty. Strong words from Natty Neidhart. I think uh, Ivory's going to show her that she's a lot more than just a diva. She's a great wrestler in her own right. Yes, but I forgot to ask you one more question. Uh, no, you didn't. Yes. Is, is Ivory, uh, is she uh, able to leap tall buildings? Well, I, I've, I've seen her jump the um, miniature toy train set that I have in the back. Well, let me tell you something. That, that would be a, a, a none of the above answer. That means that she should not be the Canadian Supergirl champion. I think she's showing right now why she is. Excellent wrestling on the part of, well, of Ivory and a great counter by Natty Neidhart grabbing, working on that arm. Natty Neidhart, third generation. I like her ring attire. What do you think uh, about that, Dragon Dave? Well, let me tell you something. Natty Neidhart always, in, 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 you know, always setting trends. Always setting trends, you know, in, in beauty and in fashion and in wrestling. Let me tell you something. Natty Neidhart is going to be a, a, a tremendous star. And I see potential in her right now. And I just might go up to her and ask her if I can be your manager. Beautiful wrestling here now. An arm drag after going up and over on the top is Ivory. Much more than a diva. Much more than a diva. That Ivory has had some great, great matches on television. We've seen her in different arenas throughout the world. I think you are going to see a lot more of this Natty Neidhart. She's got a lot of potential. But right now, the one with the gold is Ivory. And Natty Neidhart has to beat Ivory to get that gold belt that she claims that she deserves just because she's Canadian. First of all, don't you worry. The fact that she's Canadian, that, that, that is, that, that is a, a, an asset. Just ask the Ballard Brothers. Being Canadian gives you an advantage. Oh, the Ballard Brothers, yeah. They put the ass in asset all right. 
I beg your pardon. I never promised you. Well, never mind. We've got a top wrist lock turned in here by Ivory. Another great wrestling move. Beautiful inside scissors. Turns around Natty Neidhart into a pinning combination. Beautiful wrestling shown by both women here. Yes, and as a matter of fact, and, and now, that I, now that I think about it, it's time right now to break out the Canadian rule book. Oh, brother, it had to happen. Now, this is a mistake on Natty Neidhart's part. She's letting the crowd get to her. She's wrestled a very good match so far. Both women, I, I don't see them with the advantage on each other. Nice headlock takeover by Natty Neidhart. She just, that's a rookie mistake letting the crowd get to you. Now, first of all, that's where you're wrong, Junior Mint. Let me tell you something. That she was just playing possum to let Ivory think that she had the upper hand. And then, before you even know it, now that she, now she's got Ivory in a headlock. Now, you, you have to learn, learn about things like that, Junior Mint. Junior Mint, indeed. All right, folks. Beautiful head scissors by Ivory. <laughs> Natty Neidhart to escape that headlock. She's got it locked in. Beautiful kip up. Out comes Natty into another headlock takeover. Head scissors. Beautiful counter by Ivory. Great wrestling. Look at that bridge by Natty. Wow, these two can really wrestle. This is a very, very interesting match, Dragon Day. Yes, but right now I think uh, uh, Ivory, uh, I think Ronnie Washington should tell Ivory to, uh, to uh, break this hole because in, uh, in Canada, right here, rule number 37, you cannot put your opponent in a leg lock. Like well, this is beautiful wrestling, folks, no matter what Dragon Dave thinks. We're going to see an escape here, a nice roll through into, <laughs> into a headlock. Oh, my God, we've seen leg scissors escapes. We've seen... Uh, inverted body scissor escapes both of these women well versed in, in wrestling here this is a very very good match folks for watching at home this isn't high impact like we saw with Cafu and some of the others but you can really appreciate great great mat wrestling and this is what you have here in big time wrestling yeah, and unlike the last match with Cafu and, and, and Kid Dynamite JJ uh, you know this is a, a nice match uh, to look at visually yeah, I, I would say this was much more appealing. Uh, the pink and black attack when uh, Ivory's lovely frock in there is always nice to look at. Now she's trying to power her way out. Natty Neidhart, oh, into a, a top wrist lock, into a headlock, and gives her own headlock takeover, and Neidhart's down. Neidhart with a head scissors, and she's got Ivory trapped now. Wow, seesaw battle. Let me tell you something, uh, you know, it is so good to see Daddy Neihart. I mean, she's beautiful, she's talented, she's the future of, of, of this business as far as I'm concerned, as far as women's wrestling goes. As a matter of fact, if she wins this match, I'll take her out to dinner. Oh, lucky her. I hope she doesn't have to pick up the tab. We saw a beautiful roll through escape into a side headlock, now a standing side headlock by Ivory, folks. Oh, an elbow finds the mark, another one. Off into the ropes. Big tackle, both women down. Collision right in the center of the ring. These two are so well matched. This is very, very good booking on the part of Kirk White to put these two together. And these women are very, very well matched. Now another standing side headlock by Natty Neidhart. Back to that head. That's the mark of a good wrestler, Dragon Dave. You find a body part, you work a body part, you stick to a body part. Do you think, uh, what do you think Natty Neidhart prefers, uh, Mexican or Italian food? Dragon Dave, we are in the middle of one of the best ladies' matches I've ever seen, and you're worried about the dinner? Yes, I have to make a good impression on Natty Neihart. There's a tackle, drop down by Ivory, duck of that clothesline. Ivory nails her high cross body, that could be it, one, two. Natty Neihart out at the count of two and three quarters. Great wrestling here, and Dragon Dave's worried about his order for tonight. I can't get over it. Now Ivory bringing out some heavy artillery. She might have had enough of this young woman. Suplex, roll through, two count. Neidhart out strong though. Oh, now Natty grabs her, gives her that elbow. Boy, Dragon Dave, these two are going at it. Yes, and of course, Natty Neidhart, as always, on top of things. Let me tell you something. She has full control of this match, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say full control. She's on top right now, and look at her choking Ivory. You know, it, it's that's really disappointing in a match like this where you saw such great, great wrestling for Natty to lose her temper and resort to tactics like that. I don't think that's right. In Canada, it's legal. Rule number 27, you can choke your opponent on the top rope. Oh, God, I hope we don't see the Ballards involved in this one. More choking on the ropes. Natty Neidhart's 